Hey guys, what is up? Brennan here, aka Brennan Bow, bringing you guys another video. Today, as you can see by the title, I am doing a carbon fiber steering wheel on the GTR. This is something I've never done in any of my cars, basically putting an aftermarket wheel on. Not because it's hard or anything, just because I didn't think it really fitted in. So the Terminator Cobra, kind of an older American muscle car, you don't really put a carbon fiber wheel on that car. You can put like a flat bottom, but not a carbon fiber or anything fancy. So if I were to do something like this, I wanted to go all out, and that's what I could do with the GTR. A lot of people do this, but the cool thing about this steering wheel is it's actually flat bottom on the top and the bottom. A lot of people just get it at the bottom, which is fine but I think this looks more I guess race inspired and uh, it's really cool it has a red stripe at the top and red stitching on the sides where the grip is so here it is you guys it is a beauty so you have a uh, full carbon construction obviously you have to transfer all the parts to this wheel but just nice grip with really nice red stitching match the red stripe i kind of went with a red wheel just to add some color to the inside of the car it does match the wrap now but if i do change it it's still going to look really nice in there i am redoing my paddle shifter extensions to have a red outline so it'll look nice and red on each side over here to just match everything really well i do have a lot of plans for this car as you guys know but one of them is to make the whole inside of the car just full of carbon because it's just really nice to look at and it's something you don't find in a lot of cars so when you do see it inside of car you kind of get a little excited and you tend to look at it quite a bit so this is the first addition to the inside to make it carbon so I'm gonna show you guys how to install this wheel it's really easy it's just like any other steering wheel you can airbag it to remove the two connectors on the airbag and take off the middle nut that holds the steering wheel on to the car the hardest part in my opinion is trying to get the new wheel straight so when you drive it's not crooked I'm gonna try to mark some teeth and try to do the same on the new wheel and hopefully that works on some wheels the teeth are just different so you have to adjust the tie rods to compensate which is kind of a bigger deal but I'm hoping I don't have to do that with this one but I'm gonna jump right into the car and show you guys how to install this so just like any steering wheel you want to locate the battery which on this car is on the passenger side in the uh, rear of the engine compartment with a cover on it I'm going to disconnect the negative terminal you don't have to disconnect both if you disconnect the negative you should be fine I've replaced a lot of these at work and doing the negative just seems to work just fine just make sure when you do disconnect the ground terminal that it doesn't touch anything metal because therefore it would ground and actually work like it's grounded on the battery so you want to make sure it's kind of just out in the open, not exposed to any metal. So usually when you remove a steering wheel, it doesn't require any special tools really of any sort, just kind of a screwdriver, uh, maybe a pick, a, a, maybe a 10 millimeter. Um, but this car actually requires a T30 and T40 um, with the little circle inside. Um, there is a word for it. I, I'm not gonna say it because it doesn't really matter. As long as you guys know, it's the Torx bit with a basically a little piece of metal in the middle to go inside the hole of the bolt. First thing you want to do is remove, there's two plastic tabs or circles that you want to remove to expose the bolts to the airbag because you want to take the airbag off first that's so you can get to all the wiring and the nut that holds on the steering wheel. So there's going to be one on each side and uh, that's going to be the T30. So I'm going to take a pick and remove those little circles. You can use a little flathead but uh, the pick has a really fine point and I find that to be better. So it's going to be a little circle tab just like this on both sides. So there is the first T30 bolt. It's actually not as deep in the wheel as I thought it would be. So you don't really need an extension, but it does help a little bit. So now that the airbag is out, there is two connectors for the airbag. There's a black tab on each one. You're gonna lift those up. That's basically the lock for the connector. And after those black tabs are pushed up, they can come off. They are color coordinated, so it's not hard to mix them up. Just match the orange with the orange and the yellow with the yellow. But this is basically what the airbag looks like. It's obviously just the airbag with two connectors. That's all there is to it. So I'm going to remove the 19 millimeter nut that holds in the steering wheel. I have the steering wheel locked so it won't move. So hopefully it'll be easier to get off with a ratchet. I would usually use a electric impact or an air impact, but all I have is a ratchet. So hopefully it works. So now that the nut is removed, the steering wheel should just slide off. Sometimes they are a little seized, but uh, I can already tell this one is gonna come off pretty easy. So 
So just like that, you wanna make sure that these connectors for the airbag just slide out with the steering column and you left with the steering wheel with still the connectors for the controls and you have the plastic piece on the back still. You're gonna transfer all this to the new wheel. So I didn't really say much when I put the wheel back on the car, that's because it's the exact same process basically. You just have the new wheel. So I'm gonna show you guys more in detail what it looks like completely done. It's the next day so I can show you guys with better lighting. So as you guys can see, this thing looks beautiful. I right now have the old paddle still so it doesn't match as well as I want it to. And like I said, I'm going to get this middle piece in carbon. I was gonna paint it, but it was just a pain to take apart. But in the interior, it blends very well. The red matches the gauges, and it just flows really well. Eventually, I'll get some new shifters with some red, and this can be a really good red-inspired theme inside. But this is definitely something that catches everyone's attention when you open the door. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video of me installing the aftermarket carbon fiber steering wheel on the GTR. As you guys know, a steering wheel is something you always touch, so in my opinion, it makes a huge difference compared to, I guess, putting a set of tires on or doing some coilovers. Um, it's just something you always touch and feel, so you really notice the difference. I recommend that if you have the chance, replace the steering wheel and you will totally feel a difference and you'll probably feel more like a race car driver if you get a flat bottom or something cool like that. I think all sports cars should come with flat bottom. It just changes the interior a lot and it just makes you feel more like in a race car. So if you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you know when I upload videos, more mods will be coming for the GTR and a lot more fun stuff with that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.